Johnny Marzetti. <laughs> so, I know. What the hell is Johnny Marzetti? I don't know. Um, but I had it a lot when I was a kid growing up. And it was sort of our version, Midwestern version, of American Chop Suey. I grew up in Illinois. And back in the Midwest, everyone has a recipe for Johnny Marzetti. Then I move out here to the East Coast, and they're like, what the hell is Johnny Marzetti? So I looked it up online, and there's like five million different versions of it. Usually some pasta, some sauce, some sort of protein. They throw in peppers, they throw in whatever. So it's kind of like a variant of Johnny Marzetti. I don't know who the heck Johnny Marzetti is. Johnny Marzetti. Why do I do that? <laughs> I don't know. So here's my version of Johnny Marzetti. And... Take it for what it is. So I actually have my mise en place ready. Mise en place, I'm so professional. So here we go. This is the entire ingredient list for Johnny Marzetti. One box of macaroni, elbows. I use the Barilla Plus whole wheat because I attempt to be healthy. One container, sun-dried tomato chicken sausage. Obviously you can use any flavor or sausage you want or any sausage you want, or any protein. I've even used chopped chicken breast, I've used turkey, I've, you can use ground beef, you can use anything you want. I just happen to like the uh, sun dried tomato chicken sausage. One jar of spaghetti sauce, your choice. I like the light ragu tomato and basil, but whatever. One can diced tomatoes. I like the basil, garlic, oregano, no salt added, because that adds lots of nice spices. And I don't have to throw in 5 million dried spices. One thing of grated Parmesan cheese. One bag of Italian style four cheese blend. You can use whatever you want, obviously. Oh, and one pot of boiling water. Well, it's not boiling now because I'm watching it. <laughs> All right, I'm not gonna watch it. Boil. And one casserole dish. Nine by the hell is that? I can't read it. It's upside down and backwards. 9 by... Ah! There it is. 9 by 13. Oh. And spray it. I'm taking my casserole dish. Okay. Step one. Brown the sausage. boiling yet? Crap. Always the hardest part. Okay, I take a can of tomatoes. I drain them because otherwise it gets really soggy. My tomato sauce, which is going to boil up. Boiling yet? Come on. I'm not even watching you. Preheat the oven to 350. Eh, 360. Eh, 375. It's not really an exact science. <laughs> Yay! It's boiling! Okay. Add in the an entire box of spaghetti. Of spaghetti. Um, what are those things? Elbows! That's it. I don't add salt to the water. I know some people say when you do pasta you're supposed to add so much salt it tastes like uh, salt water, sea water, <laughs> like ocean water. I don't. I figure there's enough salt in the uh, tomatoes and the stuff and, and um, it just seems to work fine. But, you know, what do I know? Alright, it looks done. Not only is it fun to make, but it's good for your pores. <laughs> and mix it all up. This is a great dish for potlucks or church suppers, or they go to church suppers, or, lar <laughs> or large gatherings because it's tasty and makes a lot. 
it's easy. Oh, and it's really inexpensive. I mean, what do you figure? A box of pasta, sauce, the tomatoes, under five bucks. And whatever your protein is, and that doesn't even add that much. So you can feed a lot of people for under 10 hours. So, hey, Johnny Barzett. Like it. Now for the hardest part is pouring it out of there, into there. I always make a big mess of this, so let's see if I can do it right for once. I did it! Yay! Oh yeah, I always put this on a cookie sheet because of the cheese that I'm going to put on top inevitably like spills over a little bit. So. It's one of the few things I do that's actually neat. Okay, take my Italian cheese and be liberal. I'm already liberal, so be generous. There you go. <laughs> there. And into the oven it goes for like 25 minutes or so. There. And set my timer. 22. How about that? I told you it's not set. Timer. Wait, set? Yes, I want to start. Okay. All right. 22 minutes. So while that's cooking, I can clean. Okay, and it's done. Johnny Marzetti. Oh, now that is some melted cheese goodness. Mm. Serve it up with a little garlic bread and you're all set. And it keeps really well in the fridge too, so yay.